hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time i'm reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people we really appreciate you for your support and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country Pool court can't declare winner. We know very well that uh, the Senate they've been going through and and they've been having talks and consultations on the Electoral Act amendment and a lot of changes have been made. One of them is that um, they are pushing for the court not to have any say. That is a brilliant one. It's beautiful because we've seen instances where. Um, the people vote, electorate vote for a particular candidate. At the end of the day, the court comes through and um, declares another person the governor of the state. Hope Ozadima is one of the recent, and we've seen that um, the people have rejected him, although he's still the governor of the state, but we know that the people are not happy with that judgment. Questions have still been asked. That how did someone who uh, uh, took fourth position in the election becomes the governor of the state? How does he become first? We need to get to the, 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 the level where even good luck Jonathan, the former president, has stated that he doesn't understand we should come to that era where courts don't decide the winner of an election. If there's any issue, any concern, or any uh, malpractice, or anything raised, then all the court can do is uh, um, declare that um, there should be a rerun. And the electoral body that is responsible for that is INEC. They have to conduct the election again. But what we see happening is that the courts, they have the say. Once um, there are issues with the election, courts just um, decide. And guess what? Who controls the courts? Whoever controls the court um, gets upper hand, meaning that the people are left out. The, the decision of the people, the choice of the people, the voice of the people are not heard at all. Well, this is a brilliant one. What um, uh, um, Senate are proposing, the sort of recommendation they are trying to pull through. We'll bring you all of the details in a moment. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. Courts are to be barred from declaring winners of elections if the recommendations of the Senate Committee on Electoral Act Amendment scales through. In the proposal, courts will only be able to order a fresh election if it finds an election to be flawed. Tribunals will be expected to hear and dispose of an election petition within 180 days. The Court of Appeal will also, as it subsists, have 90 days to decide on election matters. Sources close to the panel said the members have already voted and agreed on this proposal. In another proposal, Political parties will be mandated to conduct primaries not later than six months to the election. This is to give the court ample time to dispose of pre-election matters. Pre-elections matters are no longer allowed to be heard after elections. The Senate Committee on Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, it was learned, has reversed itself on the controversial Section 50 of two of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill to allow for electronic voting and electronic transmission of results. This follows the clamor by Nigerians including governors, political parties and civil society groups and others for electronic transmission of results. The Senate Committee on Independent National Electoral Commission INEC is expected to table its recommendation before the Senate plenary for consideration this week. A top source who spoke in confidence said the Senate Committee had amended the Electoral Act 2010 to protect the sanctity of the ballot. The source said, contrary to insinuations, most of our recommendations have taken cognizance of the wishes of Nigerians. We believe that in any democracy, the people's will must prevail. One of our major decisions is to amend the Electoral Act to bow any tribunal or court from declaring any candidate as the winner of a flawed or disputed pool outside INEC that is, em that is empowered to do so. We made a lot of reforms in section 133 to 136 of the Electoral Act 2010 as amended to put a stop to judicial ambush where any candidate can rush to either the tri tribunal or a court for victory. No more emergence or under the table judgment to win any poll. Instead of declaring a candidate as winner of a substantially flawed election, 
The tribunal or court can only order INEC to conduct a fresh poll in the affected constituency district or state. We want the will of the people to prevail. Whatever is decided by the people through a free and fair poll will be the minimum benchmark. On pre-election matters, the source said the Senate committee has found a solution to it by making it mandatory for all political parties to conduct their primaries about six months to the general election. All pre-election matters will now be heard and concluded before the general election, so those who are contesting will be certified as eligible. The six-month window will save INEC and candidates of legal hurdles and conflicting judgment on the right and actual choices of parties. The source said the controversy over Section 50 of two of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill had been resolved. The source said the Senate Committee approved electronic voting and electronic transmission of results. As a matter of fact, we took into consideration the massive public opinions on e-voting and electronic transmission of results. We have reversed our previous decision. We now have clauses for e-voting and electronic transmission of results. The report of the committee has been rewritten to reflect what Nigerians have demanded from us. Regarding campaign funds, the Senate committee said it has bowed to pressure to reduce the humongous increase. The committee has left fixing of campaign funds limits to the Senate plenary. In Section 88 of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, the campaign cash is as follows. Governorship from 200 million naira to 5 billion naira. Senatorial candidate from 40 million naira to 1.5 billion naira. House of Representative candidates from 30 million naira to 500 million naira and House of Assembly candidates from 10 million naira to 50 million naira. Well, regarding the court being barred from um, declaring a candidate the winner of an election or a governor of the state, that is, uh, that is a great move. It's very commendable. And um, it's something, yes, something that will push the country in the right direction because the people has to choose when the court declares um, candidate winners. That's not the vote of, um, it's not the voice of the people, not the will of the people, shutting the people out totally. And there's no uh, um, trace of um, democracy in that. So that is quite beautiful. We're just waiting and hoping that will happen eventually. We know there are still uh, some uh, controversies surrounding INEX um, statement about um, e-voting, electronic voting, and even the electronic transmission of results. They added a clause there that um, they would, they would, uh, there will be electronic transmission where and wherever necessary. Nigeria's reaction is that that clause has to be changed. It has to be, there must be electronic transmission of results. All of that will avoid all of the malpractices we see. Well, guys, let's hear your thought down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.